what is up guys and welcome back to another transformers video here today and we have finally some very good news for us transformers one fans we have the first official talks about the possibility of a sequel in development so without further ado let's get right into it in a recent interview with hasbro entertainment president oliver dumont he mentions they have been exploring future transformers projects specifically with transformers one director josh cooley so this is not of course any official confirmation or anything but this is straight from the mouth of the hasbro entertainment president talking about how he has or they are actively engaged in conversations with Josh Cooley. And I think that says enough about it. We know that they love to commit to ideas and talk about things and, and sometimes throw things out there that they never end up fully realizing. But when it comes to something like this, when it comes to Transformers 1, I think it would take some serious uh, mismanagement at the very top if they were to just consider letting this go and just stopping with transformers one and not continuing this continuity or at least exploring the possibility of more animated feature films and more films just set on cybertron looking at the exact answer that dumont gave the question was i know it's in the early days but do you foresee future installments in this iteration of big screen transformer adventures he says i agree it is the early days but it's never too soon to think about what's possible. In fact, coming off of Transformers 1, we have been exploring future projects with the film's director, Josh Cooley. The Transformers franchise has such a rich history and a passionate fandom, so there are many facets that have been yet to be explored in entertainment. And right there, I think that this is fantastic news for us Transformers fans. Why? I mean, you, you're taking this, again, from the mouth of a Hasbro exec, and he's saying this, talking about how Transformers has it is a rich environment and universe that there's so much more that they could they could go with and I think if we're going with Transformers 1 as an example and the fact that they're not talking talking to other directors which has been a big thing in the past we go from Travis Knight to Stephen Cable Jr you don't have a consistent director allowed to continue his consistent vision but with Transformers 1, the fact that they're specifically talking with Cooley and us fans, we watch this movie, I'm assuming a lot of you guys have hopefully seen my breakdowns, there's so much little Easter eggs and stuff just stuffed into the movie throughout the entire movie that's just in the background or like little things blinking you miss at moments that aren't crucial to the main plot and then you have so much lore that they open the door for with everything with the Quintessons, with the 13 original Primes. This is a brand new continuity, brand new universe, and they've already introduced so much, and there's so much more that they can further introduce. We are at the beginning of a new timeline, at the beginning of the Cybertronian War, the beginning of the foundation of the Decepticons and Autobots. There is literally infinite possibilities they could do here. So the fact that even though the unfortunate reality is Transformers 1 did not excel at the box office it was very average underperforming not very good honestly at all i don't want to say flopped because it is slowly climbing and climbing and climbing it's in the 130s now which again is not good but we're going to have merch sales it's on digital now and there's going to be toys that are continuing to sell so hopefully this is what's in the studio's mind as they see and hope and i mean everybody's talking about how the marketing absolutely failed this movie so i'm hoping these will play key factors in influencing hasbro and paramount's mind when it comes to let's ignore the fact that it didn't look too good financially we know the fans like it we know that we made a mistake with the marketing when it comes to the casual audience let's kind of turn it around with our perspective and continue to let cooley cook and do what he wants with his vision because i think we have a recipe for success here so just a quick video here today sharing some hopefully very good news for the future of Transformers 1 and you can bet that I will be covering that future sequel from top to bottom the second they announce it to the second it hits the silver screen. But without further ado, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Likes, dislikes, anything is appreciated and until next time, peace.